Hello, thank you for joining me. So what I'd like to show you in this film, which is our number film number 10 in our series on how to create a title block, more specifically in this film, I'd like to show you how to create an image in Revit Architecture, taking advantage of some of the 3D capabilities of it. The nice thing about Revit is you can create uh, shapes and uh, you know other things and apply material qualities to these shapes. But more specifically, what we're going to be using is text. We're going to uh, get a certain text uh, style, a font style, and we're going to apply some material to the wall and to the text itself and uh, kind of make it stand out with the sunset and stuff like that. It should make it for a relatively um, um, interesting and attractive uh, logo design. So let's get started. Home, wall, basic generic wall, use all the default settings. Let's go to our elevation view and take a look at that. Let's take our level and move that down a little bit just to get out of the way. Go to model text on our home tab. It's asking which plane we want. We don't have any plane specified just like we did with the sketch roof. But we're going to click on this. So if you take your cursor and just rest it over the side, we're going to make sure that you have that plane selected. Model text. I'm going to call my company Fabco. Capital F, capital C. And plop it into place. Let's take a look at that in our 3D view. Go to view, go to 3D view. That's kind of what it looks like. Shift key, move that around. If you like the way that looks, uh, just in a generic, um, you know, hidden line showing, then, uh, you know, that's okay. You can stop right here, take an image of that, and uh, insert it. But if you want to do more with it, let me show you how. There's a couple things I like to do. I like to um, change the text style a little bit. I also want to change the texture and the color of the wall and the texture and the color of the, of the lettering. And we can do all that. So let's go ahead and click on that. Since we're not going to make any uh, additional, do additional work in this, if we make changes to our library here, I think that's okay. So just to save a little bit of time, we're going to go ahead and stick with the model text 24 inch aerial. We could rename that if we like, but uh, we're just going to change the values on that. So let's pick a font that we, that we find attractive. What you do is you pick a font, any font, and uh, woo, you should say Hopra House or something like that in there. And if you don't like that, you know, move around, find something different, go to apply, hunt and peck around. There's about 200 fonts in here that you can choose from or more, and find something you think might be appropriate to what uh, you know what you're thinking about doing and you know, what you sort of image you're trying to portray for your um, for your company. Okay, I like that kind of 70-ish in a way. Let's go back to our 3D view and take a look at that. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, let's change our walls. Right now we just have a plain old generic wall. It's really got no material applied to it. Let's apply some material. So let's go to edit type. Go to edit. Right now, uh, you know, it's got nothing. It's just by category. So we're going to choose something. That was like in a ceramic tile over earlier. So let's go to materials. Go to ceramic tile blue and go to OK and go to OK again and go to OK again and take a look at that. That's what it looks like in the Hidden Lions uh, version, but if you go down to Realistic it should look a little bit better than that. Click off to the side. So let's click back in that wall and make some additional changes to it. Edit Type. Let's go back to Edit. Instead of Blue Tile, see if we can find something a little bit different. Something a little bit brighter. Blue is a little bit dark. Uh, let's see if we can change that and uh, make it a little bit different. So if you go in here, and let's see, where do we go from here? Go to graphics, display, no, we want to change the color over here. So let's go to porcelain tile. Let's just go to regular tile. So the way you get there, you go from materials to appearance property sets, and we're going to go to tile down here, we're going to scroll down. Right now we have the one and a half inch blue, medium blue tile. Let's scroll down and get something a little bit lighter. I think I saw yellow in here. Yep, let's click yellow. Lime green, yellow, perhaps. Mm. Just for demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and stay with that. I wonder if there's a yellow, yellow. Doesn't look like it, so we'll stick with that. And go to OK, OK. Again, you have a lot of options of what you want to choose. Ooh, that's not bad. Let's take our letters and change that. So, in regard to text, we want to keep that. Well, let's apply a uh, material to us. If you go down here to our properties palette, go to category, let's find a material that we like. Um, perhaps we want to make metallic. Scroll down, find a metallic color that you like. Ionize red. 
Maybe copper would be good in that background. Let's try that. So that's not bad. I can stick with that. So let's make a picture of that. Let's go back to our level one plan and see if we can find that. You know the side plan will show the whole wall. And there's our lettering right here. So we go up to 3D views. Go to camera view. Let's take a camera view of that. Maybe straight on. Let's see what that looks like. Go to realistic in regard to uh, its view settings. Let me move that down a little bit. Yeah, it looks okay right there. But you know, if we turn on our sun path, and I'm going to use the current settings on that, whatever they might be, and I'm going to turn on the shadow too, and now we have something that's actually really attractive. You're going to have to do a lot with the settings. I kind of rushed through this a little bit. But uh, to get what you really like, you're going to have to play around with some of the settings. And I think you know what to do with this from here. What you can do is export this, or you can take a screenshot of it and import it into an image uh, rendering program. So I'm going to end that here. We'll pick that up in the next video.